Hi, good day. This is Michael with Iconesis. Uh, today we'll be doing a real-time workflow video for scientific uh, and research uh, photography, shooting in 360. Uh, we've had a few customers uh, inquire in uh, entomology, and I uh, just wanted to do a real-time workflow video. Um, I'm working with a Canon Rebel T5 camera, Canon macro 60 millimeter lens, or small LumiPad 360 lighting setup. Uh, medium USB turntable and 360 acrylic riser and I've connected my camera via USB to my computer and enabled live view as you can see my hand going back and forth in front of the camera that is a real-time preview of what our camera sees uh, so the first thing that we're gonna see here is it looks a little bit a uh, little bit out of focus so let's go ahead and actually view this nice up close and adjust our focal point here and I can adjust our focal point using mouse clicks um, to bring my object back into focus. So as you saw as I made my changes, I drive the lens near and far and optimize my focal point. So that's going to be our step one. The next thing that we can see is it looks a little bit dark. Um, so we're going to go ahead and make some settings changes to our cameras, more specifically our shutter speed, to optimize our camera settings for our lighting environment. Uh, that looks pretty good. Let's just do a quick pre-snap here. You're going to hear the camera capture and instantly upload that image. We'll take a look here and our most important thing that we can do is optimize this for um, color accuracy and looking at my product uh, we're shooting under our LED lighting um, it looks like we've done a very good job at uh, accurately depicting the color of the subject so let me go ahead and delete this thumbnail that we just shot re-enable our live view mode inside of the application and we're gonna enter into our 360 shooting mode our next step inside of here we're gonna choose Iconis's turntable again we're working with our medium USB turntable and what I'm gonna do here is pre-rotate my object so in this step, I want to first ensure that our object is spinning on axis in the center of the turntable. Probably the second thing that we're going to want to do is draw a crop marker around our subject. So this rectangle that I've just drawn on our screen here, and you can see me dragging it, uh, that is going to be, it's only going to take a picture of what's inside that area. So we want to define this around our subject because there's really no use in shooting the whole frame if we don't need to. So the pre-crop tool is something that's going to save users a lot of time and effort for the fact that you will not have to crop after the fact. So again, it uh, looks like our object is spinning on axis. It looks like as our object turns, it's not really falling outside our crop area. So I think we're probably pretty good to go here. I'm just going to stop my turntable where I wish to shoot my first frame for the 360 set. And after we've done that, I'll just stop probably about right there. and. I'm now going to choose the number of frames from 8 up to 72. I'll shoot 24 for the purpose of this demo, and I'm going to hit start. Now, this is going to automate our capture in a turn, stop, snap workflow. And as images are captured, they're going to be uploaded to our computer. So you can see the result right there in real time. Okay, so we're just about complete uh, with our 24 frames capture. Uh, that whole process took about uh, roughly two minutes, and uh, it would uh, completed the complete 360 so as we can see here we can actually go and start inspecting our images so we could select a frame in view one to one view nice and up close see how it's uh, gonna look so I'm just gonna put trust in that all these are quite good because we fixed our focal point and our camera settings remain the same from shot to shot I'm gonna select all my images using the select all button and enter into the editing tool um, first thing that I'm gonna want to inspect here is using our eyedropper tool if you just watch this RGB value up here you can see that uh, we've actually instantly shot onto pure white background. Um, this will be the same for every single frame that we have shot. Um, this is the, the nice thing about our LED lighting kits. Uh, they do a very good job at, uh, at uh, you know, allowing users to create uh, pure white background. Now we do have a, a rash of tools inside of here that uh, really allows users to make some adjustments. Maybe we want to add just a tad bit of contrast using our, our levels tool. Maybe we want to increase our sharpness just a tad as well. Um, you can make these changes. You can also do some, you know, color correction changes if you did want. Um, so let's just make a slight adjustment to our product. Actually, I won't do my color correction. Um, um, okay, so once it looks good to go, I'm actually just going to hit apply to all. So in a batch process, what it's going to do is race through our entire set of images and apply those editing changes to, uh, to every single one. Okay, so we've just completed batch editing of our images. Our last step will be to output these. I'm just going to call this uh, entomology sample. 
and we'll output it to whatever folder was specified here. Users can also choose to resize all their images. So maybe I want to uh, resize this to 2160 pixels wide. I'm going to hit OK and that's going to batch resize and batch rename my entire set of images to whatever speci uh, specified folder I have uh, here. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we've just completed the uh, output. Uh, we'll go and inspect the folder with all our images and we can see all 24 images renamed and resized. Um, our, last step, our last step will be to create a 360 product view um, included with the purchase of our Shutterstream 360 software in Turntable is the 360 View Creator application. Uh, this application will simply drag and drop our set of images into the application and that's going to put them into an interactive 360 product view in HTML5 format. So as we can see right here, this is the file that we've just created. These are fully customizable. Uh, users can adjust the look and style of their buttons, adjust the, the player type, and uh, really everything is, uh, is pretty, uh, pretty customizable in here for these 360 views. So let's just call this, uh, we'll rename our file. Uh, 360 view, and we'll choose to save to our desktop. And we can see it's successfully been output. Let's go ahead and take a look at our desktop and we'll find that folder. And let's open this in a web browser. And you can see the 360 view that we just created here. Again, fully user interactive. So it'll spin once. We can move it left and right and view any really angle that we want. After you've viewed your angle, there's also an ability to go ahead and deep zoom and view nice and up close. Uh, so this is our 360 product photography solutions. Uh, let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.